What's up, Grabby peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm up on the Citrus Twist Design Team blog today to show you how you can use packaging in your project life layouts. Now, I'm actually stealing the packaging from my stamp kit and the acetate letters that were in the May 2017 Pocket Life kit, and I'm using them as cards. So I cheated then and got another card and cut it to size instead of getting my trimmer out because I'm lazy as at the moment. Well, all of the time. But um, I'm just going to use it to make some cards. Quick interlude. Archie woke up for a feed. Poppet's just here hanging out too. Archie and Frida. There's Frida. <laughs> Archie woke for a feed and now he's gone back to sleep. So it's time to keep on crafting. Poor little Archie. He's going bald. He's lost all of his hair. Oh, it'll grow back. So what I'm doing here is this grid one is from the stamp set that came in the kit for this month. And I just stapled some of those acetate letters because the thing with those letters is because they're see-through, you can see through to the glue. And I know there's special glues you can use on them and some that you can't see as much, but I never can get it right. So I just go with a staple because it makes it look pretty. But the thing that I really want to show you guys today is that you can use just basic packaging as well as packaging from ephemera that you use in your week. So at the moment I'm working on that packaging from the stamp set um, but if you use anything like paper pad covers you can use any type of packaging in your Project Life spreads. I'm adding some of the stamps. Now this is a special stamp set. It didn't come in the kit for this month but it is available in the Citrus Twist store if you want to head over there and I think I think if I remember, if my baby brain remembers me correctly, that sentence doesn't make sense, but we'll just go with it. I think there is a special deal with this stamp set, or there was. Head over to the Citrus Twist fan, uh, Citrus Twist Kits fan page for more info on that. I'm adding some Heine Shine, but guess what? It's not gold. <gasps> Shock horror. It's yellow. I think it's called Butter. And the reason why I used it is because there were quite a few yellow elements this week. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Here I'm using another type of packaging. Now this is from my Jane Davenport watercolors that I got this week. And I decided to use that packaging, not as a card background, but as a memory for that week. I really like these watercolors. They turned out to be much more vibrant than I imagined. And I wanted to, instead of just journaling about it, I didn't want to take a photo of it. I just decided to use the box. So I'm just adding that with a bit of double-sided sticky tape. And because it was quite thick cardboard, I did peel the cardboard, as you saw before, into two layers. The thing I really like about the Citrus Twist May Pocket Life kit is there were so many freaking puffy stickers. There were puffy stickers galore. And I am quite partial to a nice soft puffy sticker. I, I think I've talked about it in previous videos. I really like the texture of puffy stickers and these are no exception. These ones are a little bit harder, but in the embellishment add-on kit for this month, there are some that are so soft, it's ridiculous. So I'm just going through the ephemera that was included in this month and I decided to grab this little tag that says day pass. In this photo, um, it was a heat wave here. It was over 40 degrees um, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And so I bundled the bunnies up and we went over to my parents' house because they have air conditioning and ours was broken. So I thought that day pass was a, a perfect little piece. Adding a bit of journaling here and my first pen completely smudges because it's a new one and I didn't test it first. Because who has time for testing things before they use them? You can always cover it up. So I'm just using just a black, I think it's a pilot something or other it's just a normal ballpoint uh oh the mini beast is waking will he wake let mummy record the rest of this voice over archie please this will be interesting there's still a couple of minutes to go so i'm adding some journaling here and that card is all done i really enjoy journaling straight on the photo let me know if you do that too now this is a funny day i'm going to put the link in the description below for the vlog on our vlog channel mr and mrs rad that goes with this day because i went to take some coins to the bank to get them changed and as i picked up the bag of coins the bag decided to split and the coins went everywhere 
So this little black and white, um, look kind of looks like a Dymo tag that says cranky is absolutely perfect to sum up this day. So I just added a tiny little label that um, I really like in the May kits or in all the kits actually in the Pocket Life kits. They come with a cut apart sheet and the reason why it's handy is because it has a lot of just generic labels or little words that you can include that are fantastic for Pocket Life but also I find just for 12 by 12 layouts too. Um, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do a series on using pocket kits for 12 by 12 layouts because I can give that a little go. So now, do you know what? My Siri just started. Did I say something that sounded like Siri? Is that how Siri turns on? Because she just started writing down what I was saying. That was, that was very spooky. So now I'm just doing my title card for this month. And as you can see, I'm still back in January 2017. At least I made it into 2017 before Archie was born. I was determined to get on to this year. And I think I just made it. Or maybe it was just after. No, I haven't scrapped since then. It was just before he was born that I managed to get 2016 all done. Let me know in the comments, where are you up to in your project life? Because... I may be up to date till this year, but 2015's non-existent, so I'm kind of cheating in a little way. <laughs> I'm just adding some little alphas from my stash just for those numbers and a little star to put between the dates. I decided to do a bit of scripty font for this one. Now this red polka dot is actually the packaging from the acetate letters. So you wouldn't even know looking at it that it's meant to be thrown away. But why throw it away when it looks as pretty as it does? <gasps> shake, 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 shake your non-gold hardy shine, shake your non-gold hardy shine. Oh, that last note, Adele, that was, that was painful. So I added that butter yellow there as well. And that puffy heart is actually from the embellishment packet for this month. Now this next one, this packaging is actually from a shopping bag. So this week I went and got my new glasses that I picked up and I got a pair of sunnies and a pair of just normal spectacles. And the glasses that I chose are the exact same ones that my Nan has because we must have the same taste and I just think it's hilarious. There are thousands in the shop and we chose the same ones. So I decided to cut out that bag and use it as a card. So always keep that in mind when you go to shops or if you pick up takeaway menus or anything like that, you can use them as cards themselves. So I added a little wooden heart from my stash just because I needed a little touch of wooden there because I had quite a lot of puffy stickers already on the page. A little bit of butter Heidi shine and we're ready to go. I hope it is called butter and it's not just called yellow. I'm calling it butter. <laughs> I think it is. I don't know. I think it is. So here I wanted to put summer loving because January and February are summer here in Australia. And it was really nice to have that summer loving piece in the ephemera pack because usually I find that the over here in Australia, a lot of the kits are not, they just don't work out to our seasons very well. Um, but this one did. So that was very handy. Adding some little puffy stickers and I added a bit of extra glue because those two stickers had previously fallen off and I'd tried to use them before. And we're all done. So this was a really quick and easy Project Life page today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more Project Life as well. I really enjoy doing them and I think they're just nice fun snippets for you to see into my life. And I'm all finished. Make sure you head over to citrustwistkits.com if you'd like to purchase any of the goodies that I used in today's video. Uh-oh, did you hear that? Archie has waited until right at the end of Mummy's voiceover to wake up. But is he actually waking or is he just faking it? No, he's actually waking. I'll see you all next time, guys. I've got to go attend to my little Mr. Man. Please give this video a like if you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.